Rob Domofsky, mm-hmm. okay, Green Bay Packer insider uh, for ESPN. I think him and Aaron actually have a pretty good relationship. Okay. I believe so, yep. He comes out in an interview in Chicago, okay? He was doing an interview in Chicago, <laughs> Illinois, and he says he doesn't see at this point how Aaron comes back to the Packers. Seems like he's too, like, uh, 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 maybe dug in. dug in in his ways or something like that. That's big news. Yep. Okay, so now an ESPN reporter who has a pretty good relationship with Aaron – does he know more than us? I'd assume at this point, I think we maybe burned that relationship with Miles Teller's little story uh, situation. Yeah. Shit. By the way, don't oh, fucking damn. care. I, I'm sorry, Miles. I, I, I wish you didn't get jumped. That's bullshit. I don't like it, but you could have handled it differently. I, I, but not neither here nor there. He's gone, it sounds like. Uh-oh. Darius, uh, are you learning about this for the first time because you maybe didn't know that old Robert Domofsky existed? Or did you know Robert Domofsky existed? And what are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with his thought? And really... This is something we're just learning about today, so it's actually kind of something new to talk about. Yeah, I mean, not familiar with old Rob, but... Uh, Rob does good work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big fan. Yo, yes, you're familiar. <laughs> I mean, I've seen Robert Domofsky's work, and mm-hmm. people say, that song, bitch? He's good you know, way he does. Good work, good work, right good work. There. Right there. He's good way he okay, does. Okay, he might be accumulating some shit then, so oh! uh, he, he, he's, he's came to his conclusion that uh, A-Rod won't be there, man. And uh, last time I was here, I think I, it was like a 30% chance I gave it that he retires. Um, but I, I see him playing ball, but... Mm-hmm. Um, I still see him coming back to the Packers now. Yeah. I see him coming back. The interesting thing about him coming back to the Packers is how do you get past that awkward stage? You know, there's going to be an awkward stage. Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll are going to have to have the same type of thing happen with the offensive line. I feel like if you have success. The Bulls did it. What's that? The Bulls did it. I mean, everybody hated their, their GM. Oh, crumbs. You know hey, what I mean? You're talking about Jerry Cross. Yeah, we, I mean, that, hey, Jerry yeah, Cross, Hall of Famer, by the way. Hall of Famer. You're not getting six ships without him. Yeah, that's what everybody's yeah, saying. Well. That's what Jerry Cross is saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rob Domofsky has come out and said he doesn't see how Aaron goes back. He seems to be too dug in. He said that on a Chicago radio show. I think, whoa. Wasn't waddling. Cap therapy. and Hood. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Cap and Hood for that good. If you could, you should and would listen to them in Chicago. Damascus was talking in enemy territory. Okay, Mm -hmm. Justin Fields actually said that one of his friends got drafted to the wrong team, the Packers. So I guess that's a a massive beef in this whole thing. Rob Damascus says he ain't coming back. He's too dug in. We didn't know if you had potentially texted Aaron and got any information since this report has come out. Uh, Do you think he's too dug in? A.J. Hawk, the man who was in the Kentucky Derby uh, picture with his hand Mm -hmm. being displayed right over his wife's shoulder. Well, I think Bob Demosky. First off, he does great work. I think he's he knows he's got his uh, what do you call? It? He's got his ear to the uh, ear to the streets or the ear to the train track, whatever you want to call it. However, Connor says it, or, or the ground, or the ground, or ear to the ground. I think there he you knows go. To yeah, the but he's down. But I think don't you think he <laughs> but probably just put the face down in there though? Well, sorry about that, AJ. Go ahead. He's probably he's probably saying this because like we haven't heard anything. We haven't heard anything from either side from Aaron. From the front office, really, I mean, we've heard what Lafleur has said, how he wants him back in the worst way and all of this, but there just hasn't been any development, so uh, I think everyone probably feels like the longer we go, how are we going to work this thing out? Well, the only developments we're going to get, though, and Darius said this earlier, he said, when's A.J. Hawk going to fucking tell us something? Yeah, you know, that's, that's it, exactly what I said. That's what Darius said. That's what Darius said, and I think that's what... Bob Domofsky is probably thinking too. Matt Schneidman, you're yeah. talking about Whole world. Lily uh, Lily Zhao. Zhao. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people that are just waiting on the the good word from AJ. Ho- maybe Miles Teller come out. Yeah, hey, here we go. Maybe Miles Teller give a little heads up. How, do we know anything about? The, we don't know anything about this situation, huh? No, I mean, there's there's been no developments, and I I haven't spoke with Aaron. I, I'm I'm kind of like you in this situation. I just I'm trying to stay away because I don't smart. There's no reason for me to sit there and. He's not a source to me, as Rap Sheet wanted to say. Okay, so this is very smart, I think. Like, um, like you not asking him questions because you don't want to know the answers uh, and don't want to be the one like, hey, I'm not going to be the mouthpiece for you. We're friends. I don't want to do this. I don't want to get involved in this. There's a lot on the line. I, don't- I like and respect that a lot. And what you're also saying there, though, and this is what I say about my friends that I don't want to go ask them, Maybe there is information getting out, though, to other people from, you know what I mean? Just because AJ isn't hearing it or if somebody I'm close to has news happening and I'm not hearing it, that's because AJ, it sounds like you're choosing not to ask or hear anything. Is that is that fair to say? And maybe Bob 
old Bobo. Bobbert Domofsky does have uh, intel from a very high situation, or you think this is him reading the situation? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's some of both. Maybe I'm sure it's him just reading the situation and being around the, the facility all the time. But, yeah, like that's I, I mean, I don't there's not like there's you think Aaron has like a clear cut cut plan where he's going to lay out for somebody. Like, hey, Aaron, what, how do they how do we make this better? And he has like a five step process of what they have to do. OK, so A.J. Hawk says Aaron does not have a five step plan right. on what they could do. OK, hey. we will now wait for what is it. Six it might be six. OK, oh, or maybe. seven. Yeah. Hey. However many enter, by the way, remember to enter. Remember to enter, because however many you want, you know what I mean? However many you want to guess, there's potentially in here. But, um, all right, so we're just going to act like we know nothing. Bob, I have a lot of respect for Rob Domofsky. Love him. I, I love Rob Domofsky. Thank uh, you, Rob. I assume Rob's going to see this.